Hello friends, welcome back to another video of CrackGate Online. So I am back with the third part of transmission video lecture series. So in first and second part, I discussed about the basics of a tractor and after that we went through some of the subsystem, subsystem of transmission uh, in which I discussed about the clutches and differential. So, in today's lecture, I am going to cover a very important topic uh, that is called planetary gear. Planetary gear is basically um, a gear system which is generally used in a final drive of tractor. Uh, not only in tractor, there is a huge application of this uh, gear combination in automobile industry and uh, get used to ask a, a lot of questions from this area in previous year so we'll uh, go through this and after that um, we'll solve some of the numerical uh, related to transmission which was asked in previous year in gate so let's start uh, this is about me I hope now you are familiar with me so directly I'll jump to the topic so let's go to the slide Yes, planetary gear or it is also called as epicyclic gear. So, uh, in planetary gear there is mainly four parts. First is the ring gear. So, this outer biggest gear, uh, outer uh, gear of the system is called ring gear. Okay. And uh, after that there will be central gear that is sun gear. So, it is called planetary gear because it acts as a planet. So, in center there will be sun and all gears will rotate around it. So, that's why it is called planetary gear. So, this uh, central gear is sun gear, that outer gear is ring gear and this uh, other than that this three gear which is uh, rotating in between sun gear and uh, ring gear is called planet gear okay and this is the arm or carrier we also call it carrier so it is attached between sun and planetary gear planet gear okay so this is the basis basic structure of this if you want to see in uh, reality so it looks something like this so here that uh, ring gear will come A ring gear is not here in this so this is sun gear, this is planet gear and uh, this is carrier, this uh, arm is written right. So this is arm and ring gear will come in outer portion of this, okay. So there are many combinations we can get from uh, this uh, gear pair uh, and this is the most uh, distinct beauty of this type of combination so in this sometime you can fix this and rotate this in other time you can fix this and rotate this and sometime you can fix this and rotate this so you can get several combination of speed from this type of gear so here you can see with this GIF you can see how it really works so this is sun gear which is rotating in this case this ring gear is static okay and sorry and uh, sun gear is rotating here and around that uh, carrier will also rotate so you can see how really it works and uh, in tractor most of the tractor case ring gear will remain uh, fixed and sun gear will rotate so several combination we can get in this you can see here uh, sun gear, arm, ring gear, speed and power. So, in one case, ring gear we may keep fix. Sun gear will be input. So, we will give input from here and we will get output from the arm. Okay. So, this will remain fixed. We are giving input from here and we are getting output from this carrier or arm. So, this is the combination which uh, we generally use in tractor, but uh, there may be other combination also like uh, 
we can fix the ring here and output uh, input we may give from the ring so we will give input from here and we will get outcome, output from the sun gear in third case we can keep sun gear fix and we can give input from here so in that case this ring will rotate this ring will rotate and we will get output from the arm so we will get output this will remain fix this will rotate and we will get output from here okay and in last case we can fix the sun we can fix this we can give input from the arm so we will give input from here okay planetary gear will rotate and we will get output from the ring we will get output from here so these four combination we can get from here so generally student what they do they'll for every combination they'll memorize the formula but that is not the case there is some very simple formula you can uh, understand it so what is it see this is ring gear this is sun gear okay so and this planet gear is bridge between this sun gear and this ring gear so formula is r plus r s r is number of teeth on the ring gear r is number of teeth on ring gear s is number of teeth on sun gear so r plus s into ty and ty is rpm of this arm this arm or carrier okay so uh, basically this arm or carrier is bridge between r and s so what this formula is saying r plus s number of teeth on ring plus number of teeth on sun into rpm of this carrier okay r plus s into rpm of this carrier equals to now individual r number of teeth into rpm of ring plus number of teeth on sun into rpm of sun okay so you can get it number of rpm of ring into number of teeth into rpm of sun into its number of teeth equals to r plus s into ty any yani rpm of carrier okay so since it is bridge between this ring and sun so r plus s into rpm of this carrier equal to individually uh, rpm of ring into number of teeth rpm of, of sun into number of teeth so it will cover all the combination so suppose in one case sun gear is fixed and we are going with this okay so in if sun gear is fixed what will happen this s rpm of sun will be zero in that case so what will be the form rpm at carrier ty equals to r into tr upon r plus s okay any combination you can suppose your ring is fixed like in this case so ring is fixed so r will be zero right r will be zero so what will be the formula what will be what will be the rpm of carrier r plus s into ty equals to this r is zero right so r plus s into ty equal to ts into s so finally you will get ty means rpm of carrier equal to s into ts upon r plus s so this will be the formula so you don't have to memorize the formula for uh, different combination um, just memorize this formula uh, that too by common sense it is very uh, obvious uh, so Mm, and uh, for different combination you can modify this okay so uh, gate has asked three four times question based on this so i'll show you uh, one question here see this question was asked in uh, year 2010 uh, which was based on planetary gear system so let's read the question what it is saying so it is saying the final drive system of a tractor comprise a planetary gear drive the ring gear has 70 teeth and is held stationary so 
uh, what it is saying r value is given see here number of teeth of ring r is given and held stationary so uh, it is similar case this case where ring is stationary okay so it means tr equals to 0 T, tr equals to 0 rpm of uh, ring is 0 power come into the sun gear which has 34 teeth so it is the case where input is coming from sun and output is going to the carrier okay uh, so s value is given 34 and rotate clockwise at 100 rpm okay so ts is given rpm its number of teeth is given s equals to 34 and ts is given that is rpm of sun is 100 rpm so what it is asking uh, and uh, power coming out of the gear set on the planet carrier it is coming from carrier so uh, this is basically this is uh, this case where input is coming on the sun output is going to the arm and ring gear is fixed okay so now uh, what it is asking the speed of the rear axle in rpm so rear axle is directly attached to the carrier in tractor uh, it will the case that rear axle will directly attached with this carrier so it is asking uh, indirectly it is asking the value of ty means rpm of your planetary gear so you can simply put the value r is 70 so 70 okay plus 34 into ty equals to r value is 0 so this whole thing will be 0 plus ts ts is given given how much is ts ts is 100 into s 34 so 34 into 100 uh, upon r plus s so simply you can use this formula for that combination so ty you will get so finally when you will calculate you will get 32.69 rpm okay so uh, take out your pen and notebook and calculate it you will get this value 32.69 so if you will go to the option yes a is the option 32.7 rpm so first one will the correct answer for this so similarly two three more question was asked in one case what they had done uh, they reversed the combination in that case what was happening that ring was rotating okay and sun was fixed so in that case what will happen you know in that case you will uh, keep it zero and formula will be tr into r upon r plus s so simply you can keep um, the value and get the answer so uh, now i am uh, confident that you can make uh, the numerical based on any combination and uh, I have seen uh, in the previous uh, year question that uh, most of the student will leave the question based on planetary gear because they think that it is very difficult because uh, combination of gear is involved and 2-3 uh, RPM is involved uh, but uh, as you saw it is very easy to solve the question based on it and uh, many question has been asked in previous year so I have hope you will be able to solve the question based on it so with this i'll end my video here uh, in uh, fourth and final video of uh, transmission i'm going to solve three four numerical uh, on these uh, theories what we learned in part one part two and part three so i'll suggest you to don't miss uh, to go through transmission part four or I hope uh, this video's uh, lecture series is fulfilling at purpose. So uh, I'll request you to kindly share, uh, like and subscribe this channel. And uh, thank you very much for the time and happy learning.